at six, nearly a month and a half into a fentanyl overdose investigation. The Hopkins County Sheriff's Office says they have arrested three men tied to drug trafficking. KETK's Tyler Henderson walks us through the timeline of what happened and explains why two of the men are now being charged with murder. On December 23rd, a 21 year old was found dead inside of his home, but after being sent for an autopsy, his cause of death came back determined to be a fentanyl overdose. Now during the investigation, the sheriff's office determining the pills were delivered by two men, Bryson Lacey and Xavier Hill, both of Sulphur Springs. Both men arrested just five days after Wooten's death and charged with murder. Lacey admitting to investigators that he deleted text messages, so he was also charged with tampering with evidence. This is a tragedy for everyone, our whole community. This affects the families of the victim that's deceased now. This affects the suspects and their families. They're, they've destroyed their families. And the citizens of Hopkins County and our nation all together are all suffering from this fentanyl. He was brilliant. He was enthusiastic, charismatic. He lit up a room. Um, he was so funny. So fun to be around. Back on September 1st of 2023, a new law went into effect in the state of Texas, allowing law enforcement and district attorneys to prosecute someone for murder if they manufacture or deliver fentanyl or another drug that ends up causing someone's death. Now that's in a joint effort to also take down the supplier of these pills. The Sheriff's Office and Sulphur Springs PD executed a search warrant at the home of this man, Marquise Hood, who has also been charged with murder. During that search, officers found approximately 1,200 fentanyl lace pills with a street value of $12,000. They also say they found an AK-47 and a pistol inside of his home. Reporting in studio, Tyler Henderson, KETK News.